I re recorded. Ah, I love yeah. it. That's so great. A lot of things for you to cut out. Right. Isn't that fun? Yeah. All right. <laughs> Stay focused. Do you have any trouble? Yeah. Hey, everybody. My name's Mike. I uh, hope everybody's staying safe. I'm here with our chemical expert, Danny. And we're going to talk about the advantages and disadvantages of a salt system today. So let's talk about the advantages of a salt system. Yeah. Yeah. So there are a few, and they're great. Um, so salt water uh, systems typically have a few benefits that people like. One, they claim to be easier to use, and some of them really are. Uh, two, a saltwater system um, ha is a more, uh, it, you don't have to use high doses of harsh chemicals frequently. You typically can keep it kind of steady, which makes that water feel a little bit nicer. You don't get a smell, right, of the chloramines that sometimes you get with chlorine, or even bromine, right? Yeah. Your bromine, you have to keep really high to even have it sanitized. Yeah. So salt kind of keeps things nice and level. Um, few of the other benefits people like, this is just kind of more therapeutic in nature. Um, natural exfoliating pro uh, stuff going on in salt, we kind of know that. Um, it helps kind of keep that skin balanced. Also the buoyancy relieves a little bit of the stress on joints and muscles and things like that. So people really like that because they can feel good with them. Yeah, that makes sense. So that was a great feel for the water. Yes. Okay, got it. In addition, it can be easier to maintain. Yes. Sometimes yes, sometimes no. Right. Yes, got it. So is there a difference in ease of maintenance between an automated salt system and then a regular salt system? Absolutely, yeah, yeah. In a regular salt system, you're adjusting output levels uh, decently frequently based on how much you're using it. In an automated salt system, you're gonna actually uh, spend a whole lot less time adjusting the water uh, because that automated salt system is doing it for you. Got it, got it. It's gonna test the water for you and then adjust it accordingly. Correct. Rather than you having to run a test strip and then adjust it every week. Right, right. Got it. Yeah. Perfect. Now, uh, so we talked about some of the advantages. Uh, let's talk about some of the cons of the salt system. Yeah, absolutely. Um, salt has natural corrosive properties, so it takes a lot more to uh, maintain proper balance uh, as, as far as that goes. Now, in an automated salt system, you have more information in your hands, and so you know when your pH is, is kind of getting a little out of whack, and so you don't have to do as many harsh adjustments and that kind of stuff, which can cause even more corrosion to the system. Now. Most, again, we all kind of know salt water can be more corrosive, right, with CDOT, but um, if you're properly maintain maintained and, and done well, again, an automated system is going to benefit you in that in a great way, right. right? Then if properly maintained, you actually can, can have just as much life out of that as you would maybe any other system for the most part, okay. um, based on a use, right, and how you adjust it yourself. And so uh, the second thing is high TDSs, which TDSs are total dissolved solids, which uh, are a very underrated thing when we talk about hot tubs and pools. Um, they're incredibly important to manage those TDSs. Managing TDSs, uh, if not done correctly okay, in management, can cause cloudiness, it can cause uh, conductivity issues, greater corrosion, right? even more, uh, because the more total dissolved solids you have, the more conductive your water is. And so all of those are kind of issues that uh, can come up fairly frequently with a salt system right. uh, because right. of the nature of the fact that salt is a total dissolved solid. Got it. So so salt is a total dissolved solid. So it adds TDSs to the system. Correct. Right. So, and then if not properly managed, the water with salt in it can be corrosive. Absolutely, yep. So you gotta keep it in balance. Um, yes, and, and that's yep. one of the dangers, right? right? If you're not, if you don't have that information to you right. and you're not testing frequently on a normal right. salt right. system, um, you're just not sure. Got it. So that's great. That's so the automated salt system will help you figure that out a little bit so that you can protect yourself in that way. Right. And that's actually, so for me, right, as a, as a chemical, a water chemistry person, or a, gosh, in a small way, right, in pools and spas and having spent time doing that, um, you know, that's an important part of my job, right, which is part of the reason why, in, this isn't just a plug, but that's part of the reason why I like systems like automated systems like Spa Boy, because for me, I look at them and I go, gosh, if I hand a hot tub to someone, I want to know that they're going to have the best chance, right? Right. Because right. yes. I want them to have the best chance yeah. that their hot tub will, will last them as long as it can and, and those kinds of things. And so an automated system really benefits the user or the person who bought the tub in a great, great way. Yes. So they're not trying to figure out the complications themselves. Right. Got it. Got it. Got it. So a regular salt system is still going to require you to test it once a week, and you still have to adjust it, almost right. as if you had a regular chlorine system. 
Correct. That's absolutely right. And, and even right now, like one of the things that uh, worries me is that some some hot tub manufacturers will say, begin by keeping your chlorine output at the lowest level possible. And I, I don't agree. I think you have to keep it right where it needs to be to be safe. Like safe water uh, is what's really right now, and not just right now, but in any time is paramount, right? And so uh, an automated system will maintain that for you, whereas a regular system, you're going to have to adjust your outputs, right? If you're getting a zero chlorine every week, guess what? It's not safe. It's not safe, yeah. right? Yeah. So you need to make sure that your, that your uh, water is safe. And to do that properly, you either do it or someone does it for you. Or right. something does it for right. you. Right. Like an automated system. Like, like an yeah, automated yeah, exactly. It's a little bit redundant, but right. yes, an automated system. Right, yeah, right, right, right. 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 <laughs> so, so the other con can be cost. There's initially yes. a higher cost to, to purchase a tub. With That's, a right. System. That's right. That's um, right. Also, there's things that you have to replace on a regular basis, like salt cells, things like right. that. Right. Right. Yeah. And, and so, and this is where, again, this is, I, I um, so again, as a technician, I, I like many, many hot tubs, to be honest with you. Like, to me, we sell an Arctic because I believe it's the best product in the market. That's me. Right. But one of the things that I see negative in other salt systems, cost of ownership is way higher than maybe they explain up front. Yeah. Um, yeah. And I'm all about healthy expectations, right? Expect to pay a little more, right? But what you want, what you're trying to get out of that is all those benefits. Right, ease of use. You like that it's easier on your joints. You like that it feels good. So all those are the benefits you want with a saltwater system, and you're going to pay a little more for that. You're going to pay a little more for that up front, and in the end, hopefully, it's it's about a wash in the end because of how easy it is to maintain. Yeah. Now, gosh, I've heard the horror stories. Okay, people who get themselves into trouble, and I go out to their to their spa, and it's a brand new, you know brand new saltwater spa and they go, gosh, I can't figure anything out. It's always this weird brown color water thing right. going. Trust me, everything has to do with whether it actually is easier to use or not. Yes. If it is easier to use, yeah. I personally think it's worth it. Worth the cost, yeah. And one question to ask is how expensive are things like salt cells? Some companies, the cost is quite a bit for a salt cell. Surprisingly so. Yeah. Yeah. And some others, it's pretty reasonable. So. so in that, looking at that, when we're looking at ease of maintenance, which is gonna win out? Is it a regular chlorine system? Is it gonna be an automated salt system? Or is it gonna be a regular salt system? Right, so unless you've done thousands and thousands and thousands of pools and spas, right? Likely is going to be something that's automated. Right, that's gonna be the easiest, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Okay, well that's it guys, thank you. We'll see you soon.